Hello everyone and welcome back to another MRC chess game from the history of chess from 1940 and we have unknown chess players with the white pieces we have Bozidar Kazic and his opponent is Yukovic. This is also a Masi attacking chess game and this chess game happened in the former Republic of Yugoslavia both chess players were Yugoslav chess players. They are not very famous, but this chess game, in my opinion, is a must chess game uh, for a chess fan. So let's see what happened. Uh, Kazic has the white pieces and he starts the game with e4. We have e5 developing the knights and we have the Italian game and two knights defense. d4 charging the center, capturing and white castled. Bishop to c5, of course, if capturing the pawn, rook to e1 e5 attacking and we have risky d5 well in this position the computer engine told me that knight to g4 was the better move then we have this continuation d5 only then d5 and ampassant bishop takes on d6 and the position is for about equal so let's continue in the real chess game we have d5 and this was not a very good move because of e takes on f6, capturing the bishop, rook to e1 check, and this is losing the casting rights. Which is not very good, of course, for black. We have king to f8. Well, of course, you can't block with the knight or with the bishop because of this advanced pawn. And if blocking with the bishop, then we have f takes on g7 first. After defending the rook, knight to g5, and black must play carefully. Queen to d5, knight to c3, if capturing the knight. Queen takes queen and the bishop is pinned. So queen to f5 and engine says the position is for about equal. So we have pluses and minuses. Black has advanced pawns controlling the center but black haven't castled. The bishop is pinned. So okay this is also not losing actually for black. But in the real chess game. Uh, in the real chess game after checking the king we have king to f8. And then we have bishop to g5 by Bozidar Kazic. So in this position, he is basically threatening to capture the pawn. That's check and then capturing the queen. So g takes on f6 and then checking the king. King to g8, the only move. And we have knight to c3. Very good move. Very active move. Developing the bishop and this move was also fine. But just for the records, if capturing the knight, then capturing the queen. And capturing the knight is out of questions because basically black is getting checkmated and there is no sensible defense. So in this position, uh, of course, after knight to c3, we have bishop to g4 and knight to e4, b6. And this was not a good move. Bishop to e7 should have been considered. b6, c3. Actually, white had a winning chance in this position. Can you see the best move in this position? Not c3. But knight takes on d4 was actually the winning move. Attacking the bishop and threatening checkmate, so what else? And then capturing the knight. And you can't move the queen because if moving the queen, knight takes on f6 and that's checkmate. So you can see that white missed the opportunity and we have knight to e5. But this time white did not miss the opportunity. Can you see the best move in this position for white? By Bozidar Kazic captured the knight. Knight takes on e5 and sacrificing the queen. Bishop takes on d1 and then knight to d7. Incredible. He sacrificed the queen but now he is threatening checkmate. We have bishop to e7. Well, if capturing the knight, then knight takes on f6, deflecting the queen and checkmating the king, and there is no sensible defense. So we have knight to d7, hoping to deflect the queen, and bishop to e7. Let's play a random move in this position. I think you can see the threat. We have knight takes, knight from e, or d takes on f6. And this is the only move. Capturing the queen and black is getting checkmated. There is no defense. 
So basically, white is threatening to sacrifice the knight and then capturing the queen checkmate. So bishop goes back for the extra defense. But in this position, white has a winning move. Can you guess the next move of white? White plays the move and wins on the spot. So let me give you a couple of seconds. If you need, you can always pause the video. But if you just want to enjoy this beautiful chess game, just sit back, relax and watch the next move of white. So I'm only going to give you 3 seconds to pause the video and guess the next move of white. Only one move. There is only one move that white plays and after that move, white is simply winning. There is only one move I repeat which wins. None of the other moves is working for white. Okay, so let me show you the move. The move is knight from e. I repeat, from e takes on f6. Knight, not knight from d takes <laughs> on f6. That would be a blunder. So we have bishop takes on f6. The purpose of capturing the pawn with the e knight was to open the file for the rook. So we can play rook to e8 and this is what happened. Let's check the only move. This is deflecting the queen. And then capturing the bishop, checkmate. What an incredible, amazing checkmate. Oh my goodness gracious. So the final position was also very nice. First sacrificing the queen and then knight to d7. Bishop goes back and knight from e takes on f6. And that's all she wrote for black. And whatever black does, uh, finally white is deflecting the queen and delivering checkmate. This bishop was a pain in the neck for black for the entire chess game. So this was the beautiful chess game from the chess history from 1940. I was also thinking that you have never seen this chess game before in your life. So maybe you have seen it before, but I'm sure at least 90% of the people who is watching this channel, they have never seen this chess game before. So this is very nice. Uh, because this is an unknown chess game by an unknown chess player, but a must see chess game. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this chess game and I hope to see you next time. I actually have many beautiful interactive attacking chess games like this one in my list. So I'm planning to show you all of them. Uh, okay, so take care, stay safe and bye bye.